Yo. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial. And for this one, I'll be showing you how to create a simple slideshow using Synfig. So um, the first thing you need to do is create a folder on your computer and place all of your images that you'll be using in the slideshow into that folder. So as you can see here, I have a folder called slide images and I've placed uh, three images into that folder. And I'm only going to be working with three just to save time, but you can use any amount of images that you want. Okay. So uh, the next step after you've collected your images into the folder, uh, you want to select the first image that you will be using and just left click and drag it into Synfig like so. Okay. We then need to decide how we want to create our slideshow. For example, do we want the image to be transparent and then appear on the screen and then uh, disappear and then another image comes? Uh, do you want it to scale? Do you want it to move up, down? Okay. So you need to decide on how you want to go about animating this. So I've decided that I want this image to start off small, then scale to its original size here, and then stay for a while on the screen and then move off off screen towards the right. Okay. So that's the animation that I will be going with. Um, as well as I want it to be invisible before it then it appears onto the screen as it's expanding. Okay. So with the layer selected, I'm going to go into the keyframe properties and I'm going to delete this keyframe here and I'm going to turn on the animate button. Uh, and then I'm just going to move down my timeline. It doesn't matter where, because you can move the keyframe if necessary. So I'm just going to stay here and uh, I'm going to select the scale control point, which is this one right here. And I am going to just use the arrow keys on my keyboard. So I'm going to press the down key and then press the up key to bring it back to its original size. And the reason why I did that was any movement that you do, it automatically adds a keyframe and I wanted to add a keyframe. So I just um, moved it slightly and then brought it back. Okay. So now I have my keyframe here and I'm just going to come down to maybe uh, frame one here and then I'm going to scale this down like so. I think that is a, um, th that is okay for me. I'm just going to move this over to the left and press play and move this back a bit. Okay. So let's work with that. This is okay for me, right? So we have it, um, starting off small and then coming up onto the screen. So I'm just going to go back to where it um, starts and I'm going to go into the properties. And remember I said, that I want it to start off being um, invisible and then appear onto the screen, right? So we know that we can use the opacity to, to do that. So on the frame one, I'm going to, Go over to my opacity and change that to zero. Okay. And then move down a bit, like maybe here and change this to one. So it starts off not being on screen and then it appears while it's scaling. All right. So that is looking okay to me. And I'm going to change these keyframes to the ease in ease out. So I'm just going to right click and then click ease in ease out, right click, ease in ease out. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to change the keyframe type here to easy knees out. So just so I don't have to change them afterwards. Okay. So we want this to stay on screen for a while. So let's say it stays on the screen till about maybe frame 30. Okay. And then we want it to come off screen. Now, uh, something to note is that you need to add a keyframe for each control point that you will be, um, altering. So at the beginning, I did not, I did not add a keyframe for the, the, um, the, the, the green point, which allows you to move. Okay. So if I go ahead and move it now, so if I select this while I'm here and move it now and then go back, we won't see that movement, right? Because there was no original keyframe for it, um, before I, I made that one there. Okay. So let me undo that. Let me undo all of that actually. Okay. So always keep that in mind. Always add a keyframe for all the points that you will be altering. 
Yeah, so let me go back to, I think I accidentally deleted that keyframe. Let me, so yeah, let me go back to frame 30. And I know that I want this to stay the same until it reach, reaches frame 30, right? So I'm just gonna duplicate this keyframe and bring it over here. And to do that, just hold down shift and left click on the keyframe and drag it over. So let me do that right now. Like so, okay? So it's the same, it's in the same position here as it is here because it's the same keyframe. I need to add my keyframe for the move control point. So let me just click it, then press the left key on my keyboard and then press the right key to move it back just to add that keyframe there and then come down to frame 50, then select it again and move it over to the right. Like so. So let me see how that looks. Okay, so let me play it back. All right, and that looks okay to me. Okay, so it appears on the screen, comes up, then moves over to the right. All right, okay, so we've done just one image so far, All right? So what we want to do now, we want, for my purposes, I have two more images to add to this slideshow. So based on the amount of images you have, you want to have the same amount of layers, okay? So I've already added my keyframes to this layer. So what I'm going to do is select this layer and I'm going to duplicate it twice. So Control C and Control V to duplicate. And I'm gonna press Control V again to duplicate. So just make sure you have the same amount of layers as you do images, all right? And I'm just going to rename the, these images. I'm gonna call this one two, and I'm gonna call this one three, okay? I'm gonna rename this one. It's called 1.png, but I'm just gonna rename it. What we need to do now is to go into the images, right, by left-clicking on this arrow right here. And the idea is that we'll just switch out each of these images. So for, for layer two and three, we'll just switch out the images to um, two and three, three respectively. So if I open up this, right, we can see this layer right here and click on it and then move over into the properties here and look for where it says file name and you want to just click on that and then you'll see this file icon appear then just left click on that. And then um, what you want to do is search for your images within the folder that you place them. Here it is and uh, I'm going to select this one, click load. I um, I have the animate button on, so it automatically added a keyframe. It actually um, saved my actions there. So I don't need this keyframe. So I'm just going to press Alt and left click to remove that keyframe. Okay. So now with this image added, I'm just going to turn off this layer and I'm going to turn off this one, right? And then click on layer two and we can see that it is indeed the second image and it has all the keyframes um, similar to the first layer here, okay? So we'll have to just make some choices right now. So let me turn on back this one. Uh, now we need to decide where we want the second image to come in, okay? And I think I'm gonna make it come in maybe at the halfway point here when this image reaches the halfway point. So I'm just going to leave it right here, which is frame 40. I'm going to turn on layer two. And what we want to do is move all of these keyframes down to layer 40. So the first one should begin at frame 40. And we can actually select multiple, multiple keyframes at once horizontally, but we can't select multiple, multiple keyframes vertically, unfortunately. So I'm gonna select these ones first and move them over. And then I'm gonna select these ones and move them over. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So if I select one and hold down the control key on my keyboard and left click, we see that it's been highlighted. And I'm just gonna left click when I reach the final one and drag it over like so. And I want to select this one hold on control, left click, and drag these over as well, okay? So now, if I play it back, we see we have one, and then the next one comes in and does the same thing. 
So that is pretty cool. And I'm going to do the same for the third image as well. So I'm going to turn off both of these and turn on um, layer three. And I'm going to go into the properties and change all the image just as I did the previous one. Okay. So click on that and go over into the properties and search for your image. Image three load. Uh, and again, I had, I have anime turned on, so it added a keyframe and I don't want that. So just alt and left click to remove. Uh, you might want to turn off animate when you're importing a new image and then turn it back on again. Okay. But I keep forgetting. Um, all right. So here we are at layer three. I'm going to turn it off and turn on back layer two. And just to see where that point is, where I want, um, layer three to come in. So if I move over a bit, we can see that the halfway point is maybe here. So I'm going to work with, this is frame 79. Or maybe I should work with frame 78. No. Okay. I'm going to work with frame 79. So I'm going to turn on back layer three and oh, always remember to save. All right. You don't want synfig crashing on you. So always remember to save. Um, so yeah, I'm going to move all of these keyframes over to frame 79, similar to what I did in the, the, um, for the previous layer. So left click on the keyframe and hold on control and select all of these and move them over and do the same with these ones as well and move them over, right? Uh, we might need to expand the the um, timeline here. So right now I'm on 120. I think I'm going to just expand this to maybe 240 just so we can see um, the rest of the animation right there. So if I play it back. Oh, let me turn on, on my, all of my layers first. Then go back to the first frame and play. Yo, come on. And there we have a slideshow. So it's very easy to do. Um, just put all of your animations on one layer, duplicate that layer, and then change out the images um, for each of the extra layers and then move the keyframes where you, you want them to go. And uh, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Yo. Yeah,